Well, pretty soon firefighters could have a new tool to fight fires. You know, when you think of a fire truck, you typically typically think of the big red truck. Well, these new fire trucks are going electric and boy, do they look way different than what we're used to. So Kimmy's live in Mesa where firefighters getting an up close and personal look at this new truck. And I think Kim is behind the wheel, Kim. Hey, good morning to you, Scotty. Joining me this morning is Steve and Michael. So. This is pretty easy to drive. This is an electric fire truck, but it's almost like driving a car, right? Absolutely, super simple to drive. We did a little test drive with you and, and you even referenced that it's just like driving your car. So it's super simple, very safe, and handles just like a dream. This is basically the Tesla of fire trucks, if you will. This is so quiet. Yes, very, very quiet. Uh, this is our concept vehicle. It actually doesn't even have insulation in it uh, because it was just a concept and you can hear how quiet it is. We're carrying on a conversation at just normal levels. In a, in a traditional fire truck, we'd be having to have headsets on, shouting back and forth. This truck is, is completely opposite and designed for the firefighter safety and, and welfare in mind. Why is this better than a diesel engine? Well, several things. Uh, we, we've got a lot quieter uh, environment on scenes or in the cab, so communication is a lot better. Uh, we're a lot better for the environment. Uh, we spend so much time at car accidents and structure fires with fire trucks that are idling and the exhaust is just pouring out of the truck. This has no exhaust, so for the environment it's safe, for the firefighters it's much safer. So this pretty much has all the bells and whistles that a typical vehicle made today would have. You have cameras, you have sonar. Yeah, absolutely. It has. Uh, it it's actually has a lot more technology than a lot of the vehicles that are out today, but uh, it's got auto braking capabilities in it. It will sense if there's a vehicle up ahead and, and uh, if a firefighter is, is uh, sometimes when we're driving we see very crazy things happen with people driving not pulling over so this truck can help uh, manage that and slow you down assist the driver in in, uh, uh, in in being a safe operator tell us how long this engine would actually last so this engine lasts uh, we, we have a battery system which, which depending on which model you buy an hour to two hours but we have an auxiliary power unit on the vehicle so if the batteries get low the auxiliary power unit kicks on which is a very small diesel motor and that will charge the battery system and run the truck at the same time so you don't ever have to worry about a dead battery in an electric fire truck tell us a little bit about how much this costs in comparison to a regular fire truck sure so regular fire trucks is kind of a range but most of them are somewhere around seven hundred thousand dollars this is going to be right uh, just a little bit over a million uh, but the thing to remember is that you're not having to spend any fuel cost and there's really no maintenance on this truck because we don't have a diesel motor we don't have to change oil we don't have filters to change uh, all of those things that are are over the road cost and time of ownership uh, that doesn't happen with this truck quite the same so, so Arnold's inside with us now why is this truck different inside than a regular fire truck sure. well again uh, designing this truck for firefighter safety and for communication uh, this vehicle allows firefighters to be able to get in here on a large incident if a hazmat team needs to do some planning or a technical rescue team wants to come in here um, another feature that this truck has is we can have a drone so we have a screen uh, at the front and we can launch a drone for a mountain rescue if we're looking for a hiker or something and feed the video back to this truck and everybody can see it basically like a conference room which is really what we do a lot of times at fire grounds trying to plan and then you guys are here in mesa tell us why you're here specifically uh, you know the citizens of mesa and the valley are just very lucky mesa is a very progressive department they're always looking at what's newest and, and best and and what's going to serve their citizens the best and so this vehicle's available and they it, you know we we told them about it. they were very interested in seeing it and uh, just you know, so fortunate to have departments that are progressive like Mesa. All right, guys, the world's first electric fire truck could be at a department near you. We're rolling code three. I'll send it back to you. That is so cool, Kim.